Hi everyone, this is Balash from Racing Brick. LEGO City had a great year in 2024 with lots of very cool releases. In July I was able to do a long interview with Chris Stamp who moved from the Speed Champions team to City and you can clearly see his influence on this year's lineup. With tons of other exciting reviews and news to cover I didn't have time to take a closer look at some of these sets yet, but I definitely want to show you a few of them before the new 2025 wave is released, so let's take a look at the 60408 car transporter today. I will show you the cool details and functionality of the set, talk a bit about compatibility with other city sets, which seems to be more important now than ever, and by popular demand I will try it out to see if it works with some Speed Champions cars. Let's get started. The set has 998 pieces, the recommended retail price is 100 euros or dollars. It comes in this pretty and colorful box, luckily city is still a play team and the boxes reflect that. On the back you can see some of the features and the option to customize the cars should look familiar. There is no build video this time as the set is not that complicated, practically everything can be shown when the model is finished. This is the overall size of the truck and trailer with the three cars, it is quite impressive. The color scheme is nice, we have a lot of dark azure elements, some of which can only be found here. Let's take a look at the truck first. It looks pretty sleek and only has a few studs appearing here and there, I think it's a good balance. Here you will find a brand new hitch piece, at least new for 2024, I will come back to that in a minute. There are some nice details all around, here's a fire extinguisher and the first aid kit. The cab has some tricky build solutions, look at the slopes here at the front with the gap, we have smooth surfaces all around with parts added sideways, simple but elegant. We don't have opening doors though, those were sacrificed for the look. But access from above is easier because the top can be easily removed. We have two full seats here, which is great for city scale and the printed dashboard. And here's another cool feature, the cabin can be tilted. There's a clever mechanism with clips and this special part that was introduced this year. You shouldn't really want to force it because it pops out relatively easily, but it's playable. Underneath we can find an inline 4 engine, which is represented with silver roller skates and 1x1 tiles, I love these details. Now for the trailer. It's easy to attach and detach, we can fold out the legs manually. This sturdy section is attached with technic elements and the rear one can be slid back and forth to provide access to the top section. The mechanism is not overly complicated but still very cool, it slides on these long technic cross axles and is held in place by those clips. You shouldn't push the top too hard as the clips won't hold but that's not a problem when you play with it. We have a couple of these relatively new 1x6 slopes back here. The whole construction looks great, although you have to help the cars up because the front wheels leave the ground and they need help in a few other places too. This is still LEGO City after all which is made for kids so I think we can accept that compromise. There are several slots on both levels to hold the cars in place, two fits comfortably on the top and one on the bottom. The ramp folds up so we can drive the truck and trailer around. On to the cars. We have three fairly different models that are not very complicated in this 6 stud wide scale but have a decent amount of detail. My favorite is definitely this one, a 50s style tail dragger according to the product page. I love the flames on the side and the hidden rear wheels, yes they had to use these smaller wheels to fit in here but the overall look is still pretty cool I think. This is the 70s style muscle car, good color choice and this should be the modern electric car. All of these fit one minifigure and the main party trick is the ability to detach the front and back of the cars and swap them out for each other for cool or funny results. The two classic cars also have some sort of engine imitation which are easily removable and held in place by just a single stud. And at this point I have to show you the compatibility with other city sets. Do you remember the custom car garage? Well, that set contained two cars that look slightly different but have exactly the same system. So if you have both sets, you can customize the cars even more. That set included some additional engine options that you can use as well. I really like when sets from different years still exist in a shared universe and are designed to be compatible. Compatibility also can be shown with the yellow delivery truck. I will review this in detail in a separate video, but these two have the same system so you can swap the trucks and trailers. And now let's see how the Speed Champions cars look on the car transporter. We will begin with the 6 stud wide era. 
These cars are slightly longer than the ones that come with the set, which means the wheelbase doesn't match the layout of the slopes, but it's Lego so you can move the pieces around freely. But they certainly look good on the trailer, their scale is fine and I think this set fits these cars really well. Unfortunately the newer 8 stud wide speed champions cars are far too wide and generally too big for the truck, they don't fit and don't look very proportional either. But that's a challenge for the custom builders, time to upscale the truck and trailer to fit these cars too. All in all, this is a great set with lots of detail, good customization options and good compatibility with other sets from the team. The recommended retail price may seem a little high, but luckily city sets are widely available in toy stores and are often discounted. I've seen this set already for under 70 euros and for that price I think it offers a lot and it is a great choice for both younger and older LEGO car fans. So folks, please let me know what you think of this set. If you enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe with notifications because more exciting LEGO videos are coming soon. See you next time, bye bye.